this. And we, you know, he's just done an unbelievable job. I mean, you know, the guy is super talented and he works as hard as anybody I've seen in this sport. Um, he cares about the horse's well being, he's competitive, he wants to win. You know, when you ask him to go out to dinner, he's mostly sitting in his barn watching, you know, re you know replays and, and California races at night. I mean, he's. He is extremely focused, and um, you know, to, to watch him, to Mike's point of you know, his, the rise of Brad Cox. I mean, you're seeing it. I mean, this, this guy is here. He's here to stay. Um, he's going to win a lot of big races, and uh, you know, we couldn't be happier for him. He's a terrific human being, and uh, we've just been lucky enough to be part of the first big one for him. And what's been what's been really nice is you know, each of us in our professions have um, really taken great pride in giving young, talented people opportunities, and now all of a sudden we've had the ability to do that in horse racing also, to give Liz Crow, someone who's you know young, very talented person, an opportunity. Brad Weisbord, who you know started a new business, an opportunity. Someone like, you know, like Brad Cox, who you know certainly showed that he had a talent, but then we gave him the horse so that he could really show the kind of talent he had. So that's what's made it really fun, is we've enjoyed giving young people opportunities, and, and they've really come through for us, so it's been doubly sweet. Okay, thanks for following up on that, Stuart. We have a question from the media center across the way. Um, I'll, I'll throw this to Michael, but if you want to deflect it elsewhere, feel free. Um, what is the plan for Monomoy Girl going forward? I think we've, we plan to race her as a four-year-old. Um, I would, if Brad said to me he wanted her enter her in a race next week, whatever Brad wants, I mean, he's, he's the doctor or the patient. Um, but I think she's probably earned a well, well-deserved rest because, you know, go, let's, let's look at the three-year-old crop, boys and girls, who was around, you know, in last November and then starting on the, the, their respective trails in January and dance today. I mean, look at the entries in the, the Breeders' Cup races. Where are they? So, I mean, this is really some, some accomplishment, I, I believe. Yeah, I think I had a conversation with him before this race, Dad, Mike, and I think we will take a look at, at the Pegasus. Um, I think it's a you know good distance for her. She got a little bit of a break before the race, um, speed favoring track at Gulfstream. Um, she'll, she'll get obviously a, a little bit of a weight break, so I think that would be the only race that um, that we would probably look at. And then she definitely, to Mike's point, will we'll get a break and and we'll, we'll bring it back as a four-year-old. I mean, the thing that's that's great is Brad has been made great decisions with her, and uh, you know he'll consult with the four of us and, and get together. But that's I think you know where his head was at least before today. Very good, thanks, Saul. And we have another question, Danny. Saul, do you see a future episode of the dating game featuring Monomoy Girl and Justify? <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying out of that one. <laughs> I got no upside. <laughs> okay, well, with no further questions, we want to say thank you.